Hey herpers, herpetologists, and everyone else. So I haven't done a video on this guy in a while. He's doing exceptionally well considering. Um, so this Savannah monitor is completely blind, has terrible MBD, which is metabolic bone disease, which is a disease a reptile can get from not having the proper lighting slash diet um, or a combination of both. Great. Oh boy. That's the problem with him too is he doesn't see well or at all. I don't know what I meant well. He can't see a thing and sometimes that makes eating quite difficult. There you go. Good boy, Rob. His name is Rob. He was named by my girlfriend. And I guess she uh, named him Rob after Rob Zombie because of his eyes. You see the cataracts. Don't bite my fingers. It's not really a huge Savannah monitor, but the impressive thing about this animal is it is at least 13 years old and if you do any research on savannah monitors in captivity you'll find very quickly that we just don't have them down we don't have that thing that keeps them alive for a long time unless you get super lucky so how this animal is in the condition it's in and has lived this long i have no idea I do know that the metabolic bone disease has been going on for a while because of the way it is. And my experience with reptiles, I know for a fact that this animal has had metabolic bone disease going for years. And normally it, it ultimately leads to their inevitable death, which is always very sad. Let me see if he'll eat this... Uh, quail egg. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on, it's right here. Right in front of you. Come on. He really struggles eating sometimes, but as you can see, he's very twitchy, tongue flicking. That's all good signs of a healthy monitor, but he can't see well, so here. Come on. There you go. Yeah, he got that quail egg. Let's move in a little. And he fights with it. I'm sure his jaws aren't quite as powerful as they once were, but man, does he does he really want to thrive? I mean, this animal, you can see his wrists and hands are all deformed. Shoulder blades popping out. Tail's a little scrunchy. Legs are kind of weak looking. But man, this thing crawls around this cage, which is fairly good size for that animal. He does his little rounds all the way, climbs over this little bit of driftwood. I didn't put anything too crazy for him to climb on because one, they're not super arboreal. And two, obviously because of his uh, handicaps. So I have a little shallow water dish that he loves. He probably goes in it a few times a day. And uh, let's see if I can get him to eat this last piece of turkey. Hey, of course my, my uh, long hemostats are outside so I'm having to reach way into the cage with these little short nine inch tongs. I'm gonna lose this turkey. Then I'm not going to be able to reach it, and I'm going to be forced to go get my long hemostats. Alright, I'm just going to have to end this video, because this is impossible to do with the tools I have at the moment. So, um, hope you all enjoyed that video, and a uh, little update on Rob, the Savannah Monitor. And I hope you all enjoyed. You can't even see him. You can see part of him, but he's a good animal. He really wants to live, so 
I'm gonna let him live. <laughs> um, we'll see you next time. Signing out. Nate's Nature Notes.